Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video, this one being about the Navionics app and how it can help benefit our diving and increase chances of finding some good ground and some nice fish. Before we dive into the first video, I'm going to quickly talk about relief and contour lines uh, so we get a better understanding of what they are and what they do. Contour lines are lines drawn on a map connecting points of equal elevation. Meaning if you physically follow that contour line the whole way around, the elevation would remain constant. Now take this diagram for example, this is what we call a saddle, it's two prominent features interconnected via the centre. Looking at this without the experience or the knowledge on contour lines and relief, these lines don't look like much at all, but when we look at it as a 3D image, it translates into something a lot more interesting. As you can see here, the closer these contour lines are together, the steeper the slope's going to be. The more spaced out these contour lines, the flatter the ground. Now, this is all taken off an ordnance survey map, but these exact principles apply underwater as they do on the land. Once you've got the app downloaded and you're in the rough area where you want to spearfish, what you want to do then is go across to the bottom left hand side of the screen, go onto the layers and turn on relief shading. Now what this will do, it will paint a 3D picture of the seabed and you'll be able to see the flat ground, rocky ground, pinnacles and everything else in, in between. So now we've covered the app, we've covered contour lines and relief, we're now going to put this into practice and have a look at the first video. Now this is a friend of mine sat on a ledge in about 10 metres of water you can clearly see the prominent drop off to the left and the little rocky outcrop to the right in which he sat on. Now if we look at this on the Navionics app we can clearly see the contour lines are very close together uh, just off to the left which is the drop off and they slightly space out more to the right uh, and this is where he sat just in between this, uh, this, this area. But as you can see the ground here actually levels itself off uh, at 16 meters and there is a stretch uh, roughly 100 meters wide of flat ground and then it picks back up. Now this flat ground is great for the likes of flatfish and scallops and it actually brings me on to my next point which is uh, searching for flat ground and hunting over flat ground. Now as I alluded to earlier, the flat ground is denoted by the spaced out contour lines. The wider they are apart, the flatter the ground. From my personal experience, hunting over flat ground doesn't normally produce many fish. And that's due to a few factors. The first factor is bait fish normally hang around areas where they've got a bit of protection, like on a reef or in and around kelp and rocks. And if they don't have this, they're not really gonna be in that area. Um, and then in turn, the bigger fish like bass and pollock haven't got anything to feed on, which means they're not gonna be in the area also. The second reason why is the likes of bass and pollock, which are predatory fish, like to stalk and hunt their prey. Now, if they don't have the rocks or the kelp, they can't really ambush their fish as much as they would like to. Don't get me wrong, flat ground can also hold fish, it's just that you're more likely to find nicer fish over rougher ground. Now, on our third and final dive, we're heading to an even bigger ledge than the first one. This one sits in a depth of about 35 to 40 meters and the top of the ledge actually comes very close to the surface on a low tide and it's normally home to some quite nice black bream. Now those who have been subscribed to the channel for a while have probably already seen this shot but it was taken on my homemade spear gun uh, which I'll leave the link in either the left or right here and it was a really good stone shot sat in about 15 or 16 meters of water. Like I said earlier I tend to stick uh, roughly halfway between the top and the bottom of the ledge and catch fish which are cruising along the side and that's exactly what I did in this video. So we'll now move on to the Navionics app, I'll put it up on the screen here and you'll get a better understanding of what this ledge looks like uh, underwater but also what it looks like on the app. As I alluded to earlier, the steeper the ledge the closer the contour lines and as you can see from the Navionics screen recording here the area is full of contour lines which are very, very close together, meaning that that drop off is quite significant. Now, hopefully this information is giving you a better understanding of what contour lines and relief look like, and hopefully it will increase your chances of finding some nice marks and producing some nice fish. 
Now, me personally, I like to stick to areas of rough ground and steep ledges, and that's what I find the most productive, but this might be the complete opposite in your area. It's all about trialing and testing these different areas until you find something that actually works for you. As usual, thank you very much for watching. If you found any of the information in the video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to try and get back to you. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. It's completely free to do so. All it does is notify you every time I release a new video. Make sure you stick around for next week's video as it's going to be the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I haven't quite decided on what it's going to be yet, um, but I will notify everyone either Sunday or Monday of next week. So